Hello everybody, this is Cindy Eiler with www.healingyoursoul.com and our video today on how to metaphysics is going to be about how to uh, open up to your psychic abilities using your intuitive natural gifts that you're born with that you're probably going to find with practice that you've already been using a lot of them, if not all of them. So I like to talk about the clairs. And the first clair that I'm going to talk about is clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is your ability to see, whether it is seeing um, physically in front of you, like you're seeing me, or you're seeing in your mind's eye. I think a lot of people uh, feel that clairvoyance is always about seeing physically. And um, I want you to know that there are a lot of intuitives out there that will use the word, I'm clairvoyant or I'm seeing. And it has, and people assume that they're actually seeing it right in front of their eyes like that. And sometimes you are, definitely. But a lot of times it's in your mind's eye. So if I asked you to close your eyes or keep your eyes open and picture your kitchen, you can do that, right? You can see your kitchen in your mind's eye. Well, that's how easy it is to tap into clairvoyance. When you start trusting the visions that you see in your head, and it's about asking whoever you work with in the spirit realm, whether it's angels or ascended masters or creator, to show you what it looks like and start trusting that seeing. The next one I'm going to talk about is your clear audience, and that is clear hearing. And that is when you actually hear a voice. Now, when I first started my journey, I thought I was very clear audience because I was hearing things in my head. But what I found out was that clear audience is when you have the ability to hear a voice outside of your head. And I've had that experience several times with the angels when they're trying to warn me of something. Or one uh, morning when Archangel Michael woke me up, I could hear him say, Cindy, get up, you're going to be late. I had a radio interview that day and I hadn't gotten much sleep the night before. So it's actually hearing a voice outside your head. And many times if your angels are trying to uh, alert you of something, um, you'll hear your name being yelled out and you won't maybe know where that came from. Okay, the next one is clairsentience and that's your clear feeling. And I believe that most people feel things. So some people have numbed their feeling for various reasons. but you know, your body doesn't lie to you, and, and you get that gut feeling. It's your, it's your um, internal knowing system, but you feel it. You have these feelings. So what does it feel like? I often will say, show me how somebody is feeling, and I'll say the name, and I can get a really good um, idea of how they're doing just by doing that. The other one is claircognizance, and that is your clear knowing. You know, you just don't know how you know. And I find that people that have this claircognizance as their strongest ability, that they have a little bit harder time trusting those messages because they don't feel like they're seeing anything, hearing anything, feeling anything. It's just something they know. But it comes from years and years of, of past lives and wisdom. And you just uh, bring this wisdom along with you, and it just becomes your knowing. So those are the four clairs. Clair cognizance is clear seeing. Clair audience is clear hearing. Clair sentience is clear feeling. Clair cognizance is clear knowing. I like to add clair smellience, and that's one that I, I made up, and that's clear smelling. And many times you can smell things, especially when you're, um, the angels are trying to get your attention. You might smell a mystical smell or a um, deceased loved one. You might smell um, their cologne or you know a, a smell they might have had in their home as a way that they're trying to get a message across to you. And I like to mention telepathy because that's just the ability to bring in information into your mind and then translate it. Um, so there's so many ways to tune in, and many of these um, things you've already been doing. So I would like to uh, move along to an exercise to help you tune into these different psychic senses. And I will do that on the next how-to video, and I will um, love to see you there. Thank you for listening.